All right, what's up YouTube? I don't really make YouTube videos like this, and I did not want to make a video on this. I really did not want to make a video on this. I ain't here trying to cloud chase off the drama that's happening and, and mooch off Dr. Disrespect's downfall, whatever like that. But to be honest with you, bro, you guys just, the, the all the people that are reacting to this, it, they don't know shit, bro. They don't even understand, bro, this guy. Like, he is so intelligent. You guys don't even understand, bro. He made a statement and edited, edited, edited it on purpose, okay? People don't even understand this. It said in the statement that something to do with was there um, initial inappropriate messages with a minor? The answer is yes. And then he edited it and took out minor. He did that to prove he's a very intelligent guy bro he's 40 something years old okay he was sending a hidden message it's clear i watched this so many times i've watched so many reactions to this to see other people's point of view and clearly everyone is just so stupid okay like i'm not gonna hop on the bandwagon because i like watching dr disrespect i don't speak on anything i don't know but everything he said in this message if you pay attention i've watched it at least 20 times at least so this isn't a, uh, a first reaction. I was trying to catch a slip up. I was trying to catch a, 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 a lie. I was trying to see if what he said wasn't true. Fact check him and all that stuff. I'll tell you, this guy is 100% innocent. And this message actually tells him why. And I'm about to break it down because I am tired of all you losers out there literally critiquing and doing defamation to this guy when you don't even know and you can clearly see he's telling the truth and I'll explain why. Yes, he probably recited this many times. Yes, he's probably falling off a script, but he's writing in his own words. Do you understand? Like, he wrote this thing on the side of his screen. He wrote this in his real words. Just like when you go to an acceptance speech, people pull out that piece of paper. Or polit politicians, they pull out a piece of paper and put it on the, on the uh, podium and they read... Like... He wrote this from the heart. This isn't because he's scripting to make you guys believe him and he doesn't want to talk from the heart. He's trying to think it all out and then he's going to literally pick a, pick it apart what he writes. Okay? So it's from the heart and it's genuine, it's authentic, and instead of it being 30 minutes, it's like two hours because he's trying to get all the points and he doesn't want to miss anything. You don't understand. YouTube content creators, I don't, but... They have a bulletin, like, next door. Well, what do we want to talk about during this commentary? This, check, check, check. Boom, 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 when they do commentaries back in the day. Anyway, long story short, it was a hidden message, okay? And I understand that. I'm an overthinker. I have anxiety. I have autism. I have depression. I have all this stuff, okay? But I overthink shit. And I understand, okay, where he's coming from, okay? Um, people are wrongly accused all the time. He is now finally... Um, coming out clean with everything, okay? And I'm going to prove why he's, you know, doing this. I know this is a long intro, but you got to understand it. Everybody, if you're somebody that reacted to this and have are still against him, you're all just completely uh, mentally a midget, and that's okay. But what we're going to do is, okay, I am going to prove and dissect everything because I've watched it so many times. I, again, I didn't want to make this video, but... I'm tired of all the people still not agreeing with this guy. And the truth will eventually come out. And this is the truth. And I'll explain why. But anyway, it was a hidden message, okay? His statement was in a hidden message, and he edited it. Because he basically was saying, long story short, what you see isn't what you, is necessarily what you should believe. Like, like, just because you see something, it doesn't mean it's the truth. He said that, and then he edited it. So you saw it, but he switched it. He said, okay, this is what you guys think. Now, let me delete it and reframe it as an edited message, and then tell you the truth. You guys want to believe the bullshit before you'll believe the truth. Okay? If he would have just did it the normal way, you guys wouldn't have believed him. He put it that way, and then he edited it to make you realize, oh shit, he's trying to cover up. No, 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 no. He's saying that you're, no matter what he says, you're always going to believe the negative thing about him. You're always going to go for the gossip shit. That's exactly what he did. He purposely put the word minor and then took it out. 
He took it out, literally, to show you that you'll, be, you'll believe the first version before you believe the, the innocent version. You'll always believe bad shit. You'll never believe the good shit in people. Basically, that's what he was saying. He was just proving a point. It was a hidden message in what he did. And I believe him. He didn't have a stutter. He had one stutter when he said, never, never met. But other than that, it's complete. All the, all these reactions and shit are clout farming and bullshit. I'm not here. I'm just here to spread the truth. I probably won't get any views on this. I don't give a fuck, okay? This is the real truth, and I'll explain why. I don't ever use... I've talked in my videos before. I don't ever use other people's either um, content for my own. I'm not going to do that, but this... I need to get my point of view out there. So here we go. Let's just get into this fucking thing. Um... Listen carefully. I wanted to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. I guess since you all missed the point with my personal statement, maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. Huh, champs? Okay. You see, there was a lawsuit pending, and as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> I respected those rules. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. Keep that in mind. However, if one side violated that confidentiality, then the other side could respond. And again, champs, Again, I respected all the confidential obligations. <laughs> mm -mm. But apparently Twitch's own disgruntled employees didn't feel the need to abide by those same obligations. Cody Connors, ex-Twitch employee, wasn't even involved, leaks Twitch's reported reason. Years later, Cody... But why, why you, why do this? Yeah, exactly. What's what the was point? the point? What was the point? There this was, no was point. settled professionally. And you knowing how black and white the internet is. I know what the point was, Doc. The point was, he didn't like you. He didn't like you. He was in cahoots with your ex, uh, partner, manager. He obviously didn't like you. He didn't expect... Obviously, he's just stupid. Like you, you talk to somebody that's fa about somebody that's famous. If it circulates, you're you're basically fucked. But here we go. Is you decided you fucking rat to leak the reported reason Twitch banned me exactly. in 2020? Absolutely no reason. Well, I mean, for what? Cody? No reason. No Why? reason. Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time? Did you not know the repercussions of accusing me, Cody exactly. Connors? Exactly. You see, you anybody don't famous know shit. for that matter. And it was obvious from your tweet. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through Whispers messages. <laughs> do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's Whispers. But trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement. Edited, etc. For that hidden message that I just spoke about. Just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champ. They did. They picked up on it. But they didn't pick up on the message behind it, as I already stated, what it was about. I did. I understood the reason why. Because I'm not stupid. I have a pretty high IQ. I don't know what the number is, I forget. But I've done a few of those tests. It's pretty high. When you and all these... So and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, 
Did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? You didn't. Neither did any of these journalists and neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at TwitchCon, but you're wrong. Let's set the record straight. I never intended to meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else. And in fact, we n never met in person ever. That's the only thing that like, when I first watched it and that, that only, that's the only stutter I could find. We n never met. Why was it so hard to say the word never? So did you actually meet them? But like, it's probably, he's a lot on his mind right now. He's very emotional. There's a lot of people watching. He Stage fright. I mean, he's probably not stage fright. It's just like, he knows no matter what he says, it's going to be used against him. In the court of law, if it got to that point. Although, it's never happened. If that, what was going to be used in the court of law, there's no evidence about it. And another thing, people are always saying release the messages. Dude, you can't release the messages. First of all, he probably don't even have a Twitch account anymore, so he doesn't have actual access to those messages. Second of all, if he does have access to the messages, he's probably suing, and the messages will eventually come out. And he says later down the line, release the message, release the message, what are we, second grade? Because he doesn't want to say that he's suing somebody. He can't say that he's suing somebody. He's doing it first, just like he did this whole time, was very, very nonchalant about it, went on a vacation, let people think all they wanted, and then when it was his time to shine, he came back strong, he came back refreshed, and now he's going to tackle this bullshit once and for all. So now, now you got an evil doc. That emblem is an evil doc right now. To the right and left of him. His symbol right now. Like he is, he is in that zone. He don't give a fuck about his so-called friends, Timmy, Nick Merckx, all these ninja, all these people that wouldn't listen to him. Now he's defending himself. He sticks up for his friends, but you guys, you don't deserve a friend like that. He's real as shit. He's a real motherfucker. And you can tell he's real. You know, when he cheated on his wife, yeah, he made a mistake. But he came out and admitted it. Do you know how much balls it takes for a man to come out and admit his mistakes? To millions of people. Especially. Let alone one person. Why would this be any different? You think he's afraid to admit the truth? No, he's admitting the truth right now. Just nobody wants to believe him because they only want to believe the juicy gossip. They only want to believe stuff that brings somebody down, not brings somebody up and proves their innocence. That's the problem with this fucked up internet world. They find one thing that can turn a mountain out of a molehill that or change a story. I could say that, you know... Doc sent me a picture naked, okay? A lot of these assholes would spread that word around and actually believe it. Just because it's negative. When you obviously know he would not send me a naked picture. He don't know me. He's never talked to me. I'm not famous. This guy, like, is a man. He's not gay, obviously. He's married. He's got kids. Why would he send me one? Why would he send a 29-year-old guy? Before you say I'm defending a pedo, I'm defending the facts. The facts that were given. Okay? My personal opinion lines up with the facts. And, and I'm expressing why in this video. It's going to be longer than other people's reactions because everybody's reactions are stupid. And they're blind. They're that, it's just that dumb. They don't see. They don't... They didn't watch this 20 times and try every sentence, literally try to figure out whether it was a lie, whether it was true, and just stay with it. Like, actually just listen. Everyone reacting to live on stream, oh, trying to entertain the fact that he's in the wrong or some shit. 
Just because somebody's accused, it doesn't mean it's wrong. Because at the end of the day, just because he was accused doesn't mean it's the truth. So, let's continue. Your bullshit accusations gave false courage to other former Twitch employees to make shit up as well. I suspect all of you sort of planned and coordinated this attack. These big time publications, these, these journalists, these various outlets are sort of just gossip, gossip channels now. Don't you think, champs? They act like they're just gossip channels now. Without exactly. any real journalism and real research happening. Makes sense. It's been like that for before this situation. They report on, on all this based on leaks from two former Twitch employees, one of whom was supposedly on the trust and safety team. If these anonymous sources worked on the trust and safety team at the time of my Twitch suspension in 2020, then you would hope they would tell the truth. But apparently that's just too much to ask. If these former trust and safety team members, and by the way, I know exactly who they are, <laughs> actually had firsthand knowledge, then what they conveniently left out is, one, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally admitted that the whisper messages were not sexting. And two, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. I'll say it again. Neither I nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images. Cody Connors and these other anonymous sources are trying to paint a picture that I was exchanging sexually explicit messages and photos with this Twitch user. That never happened. I even used the word inappropriate purposely. Exactly. And look at how it was defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including. He's proven a point. He is proving a point. Everybody defines it, projects, wants to just, just basically praise on somebody else's downfall without any real proof is basically what he's saying. Open your eyes, but also listen with your ears, bro. And actually use that thing that's called a brain and put two and two together. I wouldn't make this video if I wasn't 100% confident that he was innocent. 100%. Because everything he says lines up makes sense. And you guys know how the internet is. They will take something juicy over the truth. Every time. Just because a million people say one thing and one person says the other doesn't mean that a million people are right. There's just as much of a chance as a million people being wrong than the one person being right. I mean, these defaming articles. I'm sorry, but mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. I mean... <sighs> How would each of you look if all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by someone who is deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words? And this is not a situation where a victim publicly accuses someone of wrongdoing. That never happened here. Never, nope. We're talking about allegations that Twitch made against me as a half-baked reason for justifying their actions of suspending and shutting down my channel. Allegations that Twitch made without even a legal analysis of whether the whisper messages were legal. You see, I engage with my community. I engage with other streamers. And through Twitch whispers, I communicate with Twitch users. Conversations that consisted of a variety of playing games and gaming politics, content creation, random stuff. This was the extent of my whispers with this Twitch user. On June 21st, 2020, my ex-Twitch partner manager learns that I exchanged whispers with a Twitch user. <laughs> and I say ex-partner manager because for years, this guy didn't do anything 
for me, my community, or my channel for years. I'm talking no front page love. You're talking about the face of the platform, right? So there's only there's so the only thing about this is I heard I don't know if it's true or not, so I'm not gonna really disagree with him, but I I don't really think. I don't really think the partner managers actually care about the success of their client. I really don't. I don't genuinely think they care. You know? Um, but I guess it also depends. I mean, I don't know. Th th this guy probably didn't like his content and he got paired with them. And then, you know... He started all this bullshit. Anyway, let's continue. This video's getting too long. Literally. The face of the platform. We heart and I know Champions Club remembers this. We got we got z zero front page love on the website. Uh he was never on my channel. He didn't follow me on Twitter. He, he wouldn't even inform us about Twitch rival tournaments. We're talking about the two time. Twitch rival tournament. Oh, I'm sorry. I God, I would you would you want to play in it? <laughs> we got zero support from this guy, and it was just so obvious that he carried a grudge against the two time. So after we signed with Twitch in 2019, we asked for a new partner manager, and just a few months later, that ex Twitch partner manager. Not only did that happen, but I'm assuming that. Doc had a verbal disagreement with the guy. And that's what made him this enraged. For, for I mean, I'm sure partner managers, you know, they get replaced and recycled with throughout people all the time. Um, and if this guy was really this bad of a partner manager to Doc, then I'm assuming that he's gotten fired before. You know, by other content creators and been recycled. But... I have a feeling with, you know, the way Doc is, he's a nice guy and everything, but, you know, Doc seems very angry when he talked about how this guy treated him, what he's done, the little, the no support, don't even follow him on Twitter. All this shit probably built up an actual argument. I have a feeling that the one thing that Doc's not revealing about this and the other guy's not revealing, the ex-Twitch partner, is the fact that um, uh, the fact that like it was there was a there was an actual argument, but the reason why you know they're probably this much towards hatred towards each other is due to the fact that they probably had a really heated out. Doc probably said, "You're fired. Get the fuck out of here." Blah blah blah. The way he talks, you know, no filter. Like he states all the time, he's no filter. He probably said, "Get the fuck out of here! You're, you know, you're fired. You don't do shit for me." Blah blah blah. And then this guy probably, instead of just casually moving on, like just losing a job and get a new one, he probably fired back. And then he's like, "You know what? Fuck this guy. I'm gonna ruin him." Once he figured out that uh, why he got suspended, he probably did dig deep because he has the that kind of. Uh, relationship with Twitch, being a Twitch partner manager, probably said, yo, give me the details. What actually happened? Why did he get suspended? And then it got, oh, yeah, I'm, oh, yeah, this is how I can really screw him. Yeah, yeah, let me, so it all makes sense. Is directly involved with getting me banned. <laughs> Coincidence? Nope. Everything happens for a reason. The Twitch user tells the ex-Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. I'll repeat that sentence one more time just in case anybody missed that one. I'll, before he says that, I'll explain it to you. The ex, the, the Twitch user, right, de declines. They deny. This ex-partner who has nothing to do with it that we're talking about has a grudge wants to basically fuck Doc's uh, life up literally says 
reaches out to that user once he got the information and who it was, whoever it was, and literally was trying to convince. He shouldn't be even involved. But he reached out to that person and they even said, I do not want to do anything. Because they probably weren't even offended. They probably didn't even think of it. It was probably monitored and flagged. And they just said, I don't want to do anything about it. Like, it's not, like, a big deal. The Twitch user tells this ex-Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. He has nothing to do with it. But Why is he even reaching out? Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch, even though the user told him clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged. Okay, so basically he's saying that this ex-Twitcher, Twitch partner, really wanted, really saw this as an opportunity and there was no other way to get to screw Doc. So we have to get, convince this person, go ahead, file it anyway. Do this. Do it. You have a good case. You'll be okay. Boom, 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 boom. And it was literally trying to persuade this person. But she, she, I'm assuming, we don't actually know, but I'm pretty sure it was a girl. But she also said that she did not want to do it. So what does the guy do once he realizes the ex partner manager when he realizes all right i can't convince this person on june 24th 2020 twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report they find no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to twitch's law enforcement response team Th that's as it's like, damn, that's the that's as far as they could go. They couldn't get him arrested. He didn't go to jail for it. It's been four years. They don't even touch the case because there was nothing wrong. Right then and there, it doesn't matter, you know, whether it's a juicy subject. It doesn't matter any of the negative stuff that, you know, you can dig up. If, it, if he's not in jail, guess what? He didn't do anything. You know? And how do you think he knows all this? It's been four years. You know how many courts he probably went for this? You know how many times he had to sue these people? You know, or whatever he's... But whatever the situation is, there's a bunch of shit that he learned over the years of this thing happening. But he never disclosed it because he didn't want to open up a can of worms for no reason. But now, you kind of left the guy no choice but to tell the truth. But now... Some people believe him, and some people don't want to believe him. How do you not want to believe the guy? Just because, just because it's, it's more entertaining to not believe him? Come on now. You guys are fucked up in the head. Especially you reactors. And the old friends of Doc. You were friends with him for years. You should know he was innocent. But you wanted to save yourself from losing money. And being on the side of a pedo, pedo, however you call it. Exactly. Fucked up in the head. You only cared about yourself. You let your fucking friend go down. That's not a real friend. True colors show when you're in adversity. Doc didn't deserve that. And Doc was there when Nick Burke said something about trannies or trans or something like that. And Doc stood up for that guy. Nick Merckx. Okay? But when Doc needs Nick Merckx, Nick Merckx runs and hides. He's a big guy, but he's, he's a little bitch, isn't he? Don't you think he's a little bitch? <clears throat> that would have been the end. <laughs> should have been, been, been the end. should have been the end. It's it. There's no other reason. But that partner more. manager... Oh boy, oh boy, did he had it out. He had, he had it out for the two time. He finds out that no further action will be taken, so what does he do? He personally escalates the report to a friend on the Twitch's LER team. The LER team, remember, that's the Twitch's law enforcement response team. He escalates the report to a friend on Twitch's LER team. 
So a day later. And a one streamer, real quick, one streamer said, how do you know that he did, did all this? And how do you know all this shit? Bro, you don't think that he didn't spend on these lawsuits, lawyers, and all this shit? You don't think that he found out this information within four years? This isn't an overnight situation. This was four years of information he dug up over time. But there was no point of releasing it after that. Because it was over and done with. Now, there's a reason. So all the information he's gathered, and he didn't even disclose all of it, he's probably saving some. And there's probably some he can't even say because he's probably filing a lawsuit and he's entitled to have millions of dollars for defamation and brief of contract. On June 25th, the LER analyst pulls the entirety of the whisper messages and begins discussing them with his director of the LER team. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time and does not have access to their computer or work files. L let me just remind you, I went through a multi-year, multi a, a, a big time arbitration, okay? And uh, pretty sure arbitration has something to do with like uh, investigations, basically, is another word for it. You know, you discover a lot of stuff. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time. The LER analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to this director. Now, if you do this, you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate, even when they aren't. Within less than one hour, this LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from Twitch. Twitch submits a report to NCMEC. You guys all read those little articles, huh? The NCMEC. Twitch. Why do you think he said that? Because why do you think there was even articles? Because it's a juicy thing and it's how you get clout by basically defamation of another streamer. It's the biggest way to get clout. Like, this video is considered trying to chase chase clout. But I'm not really doing it. I'm just trying to reveal the facts. That's all. And pick this video apart and explain what was in his head that I can tell. And, and, and back up what I'm saying. It's still technically an opinion because I don't know the facts. Nobody does. Except Dr. Disrespect and Twitch. But... I can tell why this guy's telling the truth. I'm pretty good at guessing when somebody, or not guessing, I'm pretty good at telling and reading people. This guy is telling the truth. And I bet my life on it. Submits that report. And I'm not because I'm a fan of Doc, because I believe in what's right. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Guess what? As far as I know, and over four years have passed, they didn't do anything with the report. As far as I know, they didn't escalate Twitch's report to law enforcement. <laughs> Mind you, the same people that made this decision admit internally that the messages did not constitute sexting. The same people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Self-explanatory. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were illegal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. It's fucking unbelievable! I'm not going to get into every detail regarding my legal case, <clears throat> but these. Because he can't. People are asking, why don't you release the message? Why don't you sue? He probably can't do that yet. Not until 
He's done so. He's probably in the process of doing something. He, he literally hinted that he was doing something when he said, I'm not going to stand by and let these idiots false accuse me. I'm not going to just stand there. So, there you go. That's him saying, I'm suing. But I can't tell you about it yet. These former Twitch employees that claim to have first-hand knowledge, they just don't have a clue. They didn't report any facts. The judge in the case determined that the whispers were not illegal. <laughs> so then why did Twitch use these messages against me? I, I, why did Twi Twitch treat the doc so differently from their other streamers? I mean, outside of the obvious. I mean, just take a look at me. <laughs> Unfiltered. The realest motherfucker in this industry. Exactly. Six foot eight, gorgeous, athletic, successful, college degree, college athlete, bourbon business, gaming studio, beautiful family. And trust me, we've worked hard for over a decade to improve as a person, a husband, and father, and to get where we're at today. I mean, did you hear that part? That's another thing, a reference that you don't even realize. He said, a husband, a father. He's admitting that. When he came on here before, and he had cheated on his wife. He's, he's, this past decade, he's been trying to improve as a father and all that stuff. That's all he's saying. He's referring back to that. He is trying to, he was always trying to improve as a father and everything. That's commendable of him. You think this is what, do you think he was going to get the, like, People that are at this success level, you don't understand. They know the truth will come out. They do whatever it takes. They're not going to risk it. They know the truth can come out at any moment. He's not stupid. I mean, I'm in such a good place today. You're not really. Because and all these the people, situation. they all act like they're just so perfect. I'm not perfect. Again, referring to his ex, his, um, not his ex, his uh, wife. He's cheating on his wife. He's made mistakes. He's admitting it. He's literally break, breaking character just to tell you guys the truth. This is where he puts a little humor talking about him being in a character right here. This is where he's boasting his character. Watch. I don't claim to be perfect. Yep. Now he's doing yeah, Sometimes I do. See, yeah, that's that's his character, you know? Ah, sometimes I do, you know? But he's trying to thin the ice. He's probably stressed out. He's probably really angry. You can see that he was screaming multiple times. He's very frustrated because... Imagine being framed for something that you didn't do and it affecting you. You're losing all this money. You get all these punishments for no reason. And knowing things that you can't even, the, the viewers, they can't even see because they're not in your brain. If you could see it, you'd understand it. And, you know, I, I don't know about you, but I can't stand getting accused for something that I didn't do. I can't. And then when you talk about it, you get, oh, you're so defensive. You must be wrong. No, it's just fucking annoying when somebody is just sitting there and literally attacking you for no reason. But I also didn't do all the shit that they're saying I did. But then that doesn't make a story, right? They wanted media attention. The media wants controversy. And by sensationalizing all of this with big, inaccurate headlines like sexting and sexually explicit, you all got what you wanted at the expense of the tube time. The reality is, they wanted to cut down the dock, plain and simple. Take a look at some of these horrendous acts of Twitch streamers that were never banned. I've got some examples right here. I have not 
um, for these following three, got any real research and didn't really look into it because it's not important to his case. Um, I don't really care, and uh, I, I might eventually dig dot dive deep into figure out who these three scenarios are. That way, I can just like not be a supportive of their streams anymore. But I mean, right now I'm focused more on his situation. So, if you know anybody for sure and you have, can fact check it, uh, maybe provide a link or something. Um, I can tell you who I was told it was, and I don't know if it's accurate or not. Um, I think the first one was Pokimane, this one. But then he says the word his, and I saw somebody in one of the reactors' comments on the stream saying Kai. <laughs> and Kai does say the N-word a lot. So anyway, let's go into it. Example number one. A streamer that frequently used the N-word while publicly streaming, which constitutes a violation of Twitch's policies if accompanied by hateful intent. Watch him say his. Twitch scheduled a meeting with the streamer to ascertain his intent to determine whether his, his contact was his. a violation of Twitch's policies. So was a guy. Ultimately determining it was not a breach of Twitch's policies. Probably because he was black. If it was accurate that it was Kai. It was reported because he says it obsess excessively. Um... He got called into a meeting, and because he's black, he probably says that, hey, it's not racial slurs because, you know, I am African-American or whatever kind of uh, African he is or, you know, whatever whatever his nationality is, you know, his skin color. So it's okay. But if a white man did it, obviously that's against <laughs> TOS for sure. But if I said it, yeah. Why wasn't I called into a firm? into a meeting. Why wasn't my intent taken into consideration, champs? Hmm. Because you were on top. Example number two. Streamer was reported for discussing doing things with deceased animals and discussing pedophilia all while live streaming. Never suspended, but instead given a multi-million dollar contract. Again, I can't speculate on this, but somebody I heard said Aiden. If you know any of the answers on this, Aiden Ross. But if if, if any of you know the answers to this, put a leave a, leave a comment down below. Um, I, I really don't. I, I truly don't understand it. Example number three. Streamer was reported for a sexually explicit stream involving children and telling children to send Snapchats of them playing with themselves. Never suspended, but instead, hmm. Given a multi-million dollar contract. I don't know at all who this is. I, like I said, I could probably go do my research. Maybe I should have done it so I could expose those individuals. But I, I mean, I, that's, that's another drama. That's more drama that is not needed. This is about Dr. Disrespect. These people are not about Dr. Disrespect. This is their own men mental illness problems okay so let's just not focus on that i don't know this is the only part of the video that i can't agree nor disagree with because i don't know if it's true or not okay i'm just speculating what people i've heard people say and all that stuff the first one was kai the second one was aiden ross assumingly that that's what the act the chat said but every time i got to the three i looked at people's chats no one has said anything so i i don't know. But again, how would Doc know this? It's because of his investigation process. Four years goes by, you learn a lot about all this stuff. Investigations go deep, and they find everything. It's so obvious that certain Twitch executives, employees involved had personal biases against the Doc. <clears throat> and used all of this as an opportunity to terminate my contract. Go back and look at the Timing of all this, too. Huh. The doc's termination lines up with two preferable, profitable, and expensive streamers leaving Mixer. Ninja and Shroud, by the way. As soon as Twitch knew that Mixer had failed, and go look at the timing. These other. Now, XQC, I saw his reaction. He said that, well, you still get paid money. You got your paid money out, so this isn't accurate. You don't lose money just because they um, 
just because they cut you off the platform and they sign other two, it's not like that. You still, in the contract, get what you were owed because it's part of the contract. No, idiot. This guy is so stupid. Terminating a contract? If they terminate, they don't just... If you have a contract, they don't have a reason for terminating it. They can't just cut them off the thing. Yes, they'd have to still pay him out, follow the reward process, and what his benefits were from the contract, still give it to him. Yes. But when you go through a contract termination, terminate, might as well light it on fire. Terminating a contract means they don't have to oblige by what was the incentives they were told that they were going to give him. If you can get a contract terminated, that means you no longer require to pay the guy out. Fucking stupid XQC spreading stupid shit. You don't even... Like, I don't know how people brain dead and brain rotted people like that get famous. I don't. I just don't understand. Like, it's common sense. Through the law, if you got a contract in anything, if it gets to the point where it's terminated, none of the things that were in the, ter the contract... Are required to do because it's terminated. It doesn't. It's like it never existed. So no, Doc didn't get paid out still, and it does make sense because it, he says it was a contract termination. Again, contract termination. In case you guys missed it, means that whatever the benefits was. Uh, oh, we'll pay you two million dollars to stream for two years, whatever. They don't have to. They're not required to because it's terminated to pay. That's the key word there, termination. You don't get paid because they're terminating your contract. No, they terminate your contract. Like, like, like you don't get paid for, the, for a salary at a job if they terminate your contract you, and you get fired or something. Like, I'm just trying to use an analogy. Stupid people, bro. Other expensive streamers. Needed a new streaming platform. So Twitch rushed through its decision to terminate the two time. Terminate. You see, I shouldn't even be banned from Twitch. Should it? There's no legal proof to ban him. It has affected us on so many levels. His family. Back in 2020 mainly. and now in 2024. Stress, money, mainly the money. And Cody, Connors, I just have to say it again. Why would you do this? Was he cloud chasing? Oh, like I. S and by the way, the guy, Cody Connors, has been inactive on Twitter. He's MIA. After all this went out. Hmm. Interesting. Said. This was... He didn't post since August or something like that, somebody said. I don't know if he posted yet by the time this video goes up, but... That's kind of weird how you're going to claim something and then, like... I don't know. I don't know. And I, I kind of want to say that four years has passed. So if the messages were really as people were saying, they would have been released. They would have been leaked by now. Whether I'm sure the ex-partner saw it. They had to have. Why couldn't they release it? Why didn't he try to convince the Twitch user? Why couldn't they convince her to give, to show the messages to him? Huh. But he didn't release it. Anyway, why didn't she release it for clout? Because there's nothing to release, right? She can get famous off that, being a victim. A sexual crime being victimized. You know? She can get clout. Um, and... Twitch to clear their name. Why not the official Twitch Twitter account or X account? Release to clear your name. 
I mean, I don't know if you can do that as an organization or not, but I just feel like somebody would have leaked it by now. If there was really something worth leaking, right? Think of that. The way things get leaked, whether it be stretch, nudes, uh, getting pounded in the ass or whatever it is, or, you know, I don't want to talk about other people's stuff, but like, if all of this gets leaked, why can't something simple as this get leaked? It makes you question, does it exist or does it not exist? It was handled professionally years ago. No fucking wrongdoing. Exactly. So leave it alone, right? But, but no. because of you, Cody, we lost millions, he wanted to say. Of we dollars. just lost. Ah, fuck, man. Lost a lot of money. Lost a lot of fans. Lost a lot of everything. Because Unfortunately, we have to lay off people from Midnight Society. Right? Because of you, Cody. These messages, the only way it's going to be, they're going to be leaked eventually. Mm. After this next lawsuit goes through, You know, through all I'm this, sure. we are where we are. And like a fucking man, I'll accept it. But I don't Just accept like he to did sit for quietly ex, by and let these idiots attack me with false accusations. No. Ex exactly. His wife. For all these doc haters out there too, oh man. The ones that project and project and project and project and worry about everyone else's problems. Everybody right? has haters, I, even me. I, I can't understand that mindset. I don't give. I could care less. And I'm not even famous. In our lane, but somehow, some way, these people—they just get in our lane. For all you doc haters, I'm sure you'll dissect, dissect all of this and still find a way to publicly criticize me. Do what you need to do. I'll say this: this isn't for you. This was for my team. Today, my community, my friends, la familia, that have supported me. And I'm not denying the exchange of whispers, champs. I'm not denying that to, to all of you out there. It looks bad. I have no way of knowing if the Twitch users thought our exchange of whisper, whispers was inappropriate. If it was... Notice the word. He already specified this before, but he said inappropriate. Now, remember this, guys. Remember this, okay? Inappropriate could mean anything. It could mean death threats. It could mean, like, jokes that were taken out of context, like he claims, that could talk about harm, self-harm, uh, like, oh, man, I'm gonna kill myself, man, like, joking, or something like that. That, that. A lot of things can be um, considered inappropriate. It doesn't, it, inappropriate doesn't automatically mean sexual, okay? But sexual sounds like the juiciest topic to frame him for, right? Just remember that. The word inappropriate is important. He even said earlier, I used the word inappropriate purposely. Because it's inappropriate. He can't specify what it really was. But he knows what they're talking about. If he had a problem as well with pedophilia, what do you think... He'll be doing this with multiple, multiple girls. Do you think they all want to stay quiet? Why is it one from four years ago? What about this four years since? Not one released it? How about this? Even after it was released again and brought up to attention again, you mean to tell me that the girl, the other girls, if they exist, they didn't, br they didn't bring it up. Say, so, yeah, these are my messages with him too, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, man. Just my opinion, I guess. I can't say anything that's not factual, so I'm not going to say anything else, but let's just watch the rest of it. I'll, like try not, I'll try not to start. Mess up again, I mean. All right, here we go. I have no way of knowing if the Twitch users thought our exchange of whispers was inappropriate. If it was, I apologize. All I, all I know is that I never did what Twitch, Cody Connors, or the public is claiming that I did. That's it. I'm not saying anything more about any of this, right? Unless I need to, because trust me, I have more I haven't disclosed. 
I just want to get back to what we do best, put on a show, and climb our way to the tippity top of the mountain, man. Mm-hmm. In our own lane. Remember, they said that. He stays in his own lane. That's it. <laughs> Just release the There you go, look. People This is what makes me think he's suing again, ready? Right? Show the messages! Release the messages! Show the messages! <laughs> what are we in second grade? He makes a point, and uh, Stable Renato said at that point, at the end of his reaction, saying, I'm sure you wish you were, or something like that. Like, second grade, like, what the fuck's wrong with you, bro? You're trying to get, like, you're, you're really, yeah, bro, you're trying to get clout off of, and be funny to get yourself famous. It's, it's just pathetic, bro. Like, you're already famous, technically, but I'm just saying... Guys, this poor man, bro. I explained what... After listening to it 20 plus times, I explained every detail about every sentence, pretty much. About 85% of the sentences that he spoke, I explained it. You tell me where I'm wrong. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a comment. Sorry for how long it was, but this is the real truth behind Dr. Disrespect's truth. This is the real truth. And if you don't believe me, whatever. I prove my point. Now, prove your point of saying that he's guilty. That's all I can say. All right, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, and a comment on what you think about this whole situation. And, uh, I, you know, whether you believe him or you think he's innocent or guilty or whatever, I don't care. That's your opinion. I explained my opinion, but I provided why I believe he's innocent um, and how I can't find a single damn thing wrong with what he said. I can't catch it research-wise. Uh, facts wise I've watched everybody's reactions and what they thought about things and what they've shown and it came down to ultimately people are gonna believe their communities you know XQC's the stupidest thing I've ever heard is a contract termination he gets paid it's not how it works when you contract terminate <laughs> fucking idiot anyway later guys